Okay, the question. So, what are key moments that have shaped your business success? All right, hey, good question, good question. What are key moments that have shaped my business success? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, um, I think that my failures, I don't know why I think of my failures. I hear the word success, I thought of failures. And really, it's the failures that have led, led to my success. Um, of course, the, the, the successful things like, you know, the, you know, the big client that you get or, you know, um, growing in the marketplace, great employees, you know, money in the bank, um, you know, those kind of successes. Um, of course, those are great. That's what, you know, that's great, right? But what really I think that created the success are my failures, um, the things that I failed at. And there was plenty, plenty of those. <laughs> that, that's why I have no problem. You know, if you've been listening to me for any length of time, look, I think it's what I have to offer you is I've been in the trades for over 40 years and 30 of that years, my, you know, my own businesses. And um, I've had, so I've had plenty of time. I don't say that to brag. I'm just saying that means I've had lots of time, okay, um, in this thing. And so I've had a lot of failures, okay. And, and quite frankly, as you, and I, I found solace in this. I, I like to read about other successful people, right, and other successful people and businesses. And um, a common denominator among everyone who's been successful and successful businesses, they've had more failures than successes. Um, and so I, I certainly follow, follow that line. Um, I've had plenty of time. And I get, that's the thing. That keeps, I keep saying the word time. If I think of the thing that, that uh, probably shaped my business success and, and has led to the successes more than anything other is, is the moment, okay, that I learned I had the understanding that it wasn't about plumbing. You know, in my case, my home service business had a plumbing business, right? And so it, that it ain't about plumbing. How many times have you heard me say that? It ain't about plumbing. What's it about? It's about time, okay? And, and I, when I learned that I actually, you know, was selling time and that, that, the, that the concern and everything was about time, you know, I, I, can, I can almost remember the moment. Um, I certainly can picture myself in my office, because, I, you know, one of the wisest things I ever did was finally about four or five years in my business. I've told the story. You know, I got a coach. And, and that's where I, you know, I learned business, right? And that's what we're all about here at MDP, all right? It's teaching the business of home services, right? And uh, that's where that comes from. Um, I, was, I was a great uh, tradesman, great, you know, master plumber and all that. Uh, had the business. We're doing all right, but I wasn't creating any wealth. So, you know, what did I know? I didn't know business. Got a coach, right? And the moment I was, so it was me, you know, I begged this guy, and I've told that story as well, to, uh, you know, teach me business. And um, so we'd meet once a month. So I can remember, I could see myself in my office and, and uh, you know, on the phone and on uh, the speakerphone, and we're, you know, and we're having a discussion, a little lesson or whatever. And this time it was time, the idea of con time. And so I can remember being there and just what time, I always knew that I wanted to, had to multiply me. You know, I had, you know, started grasping that concept, understood that. You know, I've also told the story of, you know, the, of, you know, the first time, my first concert when I realized, you know, I paid X amount for this seat and all these people, you know, 50, 15,000 people here. You know, I, you know, I added that up. And then that, that idea of making, uh, you know, money off that, kind, you know, volume like that, right? not just yourself. It wasn't just the one seat. Hey, every professional tradesman knows you wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? So why are you trying to build your home service business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Pro Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable home service business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab the Million Dollar Pro Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash free and start building success. And so I already kind of had that idea of having more trucks, you know, more customers, you know, that, that con concept. But I never took it to the, you know, to the end, to the, the real truth that we're selling time and that it's about time. And so that, of course, changed because and then that led to my pricing, whatever, you know, you've heard me speak, you know, the, what I call the honest hourly rate, your honest hourly rate. Um, you know, not being, I wasn't honest to myself to, and to my customers when I didn't know why I was charging what I was charging. All right, I wasn't, I was ripping my customers off because I wasn't honest. I didn't under, I didn't know what I was charging for. I thought it was just the plumbing, right? And so, but no, I was also not honest to myself because I wasn't charging for all my time. 
Okay, not just the time on the job. And so that whole understanding that, that the customer pays for all your time, which then led me to, of course, you know, my honest hourly rate, but then also, you know, no more, um, no more um, free estimates, right? No more dead men driving. No more driving all over town giving free estimates because that's, that's, that was killing me, you know, with, with my business, all right? Giving up all that time, losing all that time, all right? Which also then led to the concept of that the business is about time, not about the plumbing. Now, I, I was, I'm a proud master plumber. I'm sure you're proud of, you know, the, of your trade and what you are. And I'm sure that you're the best. At least I hope you consider yourself the best. That's probably why you're in business, right? Um, and, and certainly, if you ask me, I'm still the best plumber. I'm the best plumber you've ever seen, <laughs> okay? Even though I haven't turned a wrench for years. I think the last thing I've installed plumbing-wise was a, a toilet seat in our house or something like that, <laughs> or changed the toilet paper, okay? Um, and so I, but I still think I'm the best, and I love to trade, and I'm proud to be good at it. But the business isn't just about being the best plumbing, okay? In fact, for you, you know, the business and your customers. It isn't about the plumbing, okay? It, or it isn't about you know, the HVAC or electrical, okay, or whatever your trade is, all right? It's about, it's about the time, okay, for both the business and your customer. So just grasping that, that concept and that idea just, it not only blew my mind, but that's when it, my world started rocking and taking off. And so I think that's the pinnacle, um, that, that's a, pin, a pin, pinnacle moment that really changed uh, my business success. That's it, you know, time is money. Time is money.